So in this example, we're going to find the standard error of the estimate for the average temperature versus the gas consumed. Um, again, we're using the same data set we've been using all along, which is the average temperature on a given day and the gas consumed in the house for the house that had new insulation put on it. Um, we had said that X was our average temperature and Y is our gas consumed. To do this in R, you would first create your linear model out, um, create your linear model, I call it lm.out, to give it a name so I can call it up again. And it is linear model lm, gas tilde temp, gas being what I called my variable, my dependent variable, and temp being what I call my independent. So I did put the data already in. I'm going to assume that that's what you did, that you already have your data in there. Um, if not, then just put your temps in and then put your gas in. I, mean, I probably should have shown this before, but it's kind of a nice little um, command. If you do summary of that model lm.out, it gives you an awful lot of information. Um, it gives you some information about your residuals. Um, it gives you your coefficients, which if you look right here, it actually does in fact give you your coefficients, your y-intercept, and your slope. So those are there. It also happens to give you your t-value for your hypothesis test and your p-value for your hypothesis test. So all of that is given to you, which is kind of nice. Um, it even gives you stars to say that you're less than a particular value if you want to use um, that to determine um, your level, your whether you should reject or not reject. Um, and then it even gives you your R squared value, so this is the value you could get from R squared. Um, it doesn't give you R, but you could always just take the square root of that to get R, R um, or you can just find R through the correlation COR command. Um, but what we're trying to get is the standard error of the estimate, and that happens to be right here. And so we can now stay our standard error of the estimate is actually equal to 0 0.3301, um, which tells us that we have um, a fairly good standard error. We It's fairly small, so it's not too bad. Um, tells us that our data is pretty tight um, and close to each other, close to their, their averages and so forth. So it gives us a good idea of how good the data is. Um, and so we're pretty good in this one. Um, I should mention that this um, display that we got, this output we got from R, is actually similar output that you'd get from other computer programs that are out there for doing statistics. All right.